Now we've learned that the gunman who killed a Minneapolis police officer had an, a, warrant, a warrant out for his arrest for the past year and a half. The Hennepin County Sheriff's Office told us they tried to pick up Mustafa Muhammad on that warrant a few different times, but they simply couldn't find him. He was a convicted felon who was not allowed to have a gun. Minneapolis police say Muhammad killed Officer Jamal Mitchell while Officer Mitchell tried to help him. Five others were hit by bullets in South Minneapolis last week. One other man died. So too did the shooter. This morning, two people are still in the hospital in critical condition. There is an official fund set up to help support Officer Jamal Mitchell's family. You can find that information on WCCO.com. And Minnesota U.S. Representative Ilhan Omar spoke on the House floor to honor Officer Mitchell. Here's part of her statement. Officer Mitchell will be remembered for his compassion, bravery, and love of people. He was known to have a big heart and chose to use his love of people to help strengthen our communities and support young people. Even as police officer, Officer Mitchell found time to give back to the community by helping coach first and second grade boys basketball teams. Officer Mitchell died as a hero and will be dearly missed by those who knew him and loved him. So Representative Omar then held a moment of silence to honor Officer Mitchell. The family of Ricky Cobb II does plan to speak out this morning after Hennepin County Attorney Mary Moriarty decided to drop all charges against the state trooper who shot and killed him. That decision comes after Moriarty said that new evidence would have made it impossible to prosecute trooper Ryan Londrigan. Family says that they blame political pressure for their injustice and their fight is not over. They and their attorneys will address the public this morning. That'll be at 11 o'clock and we will stream it live on our streaming service, CBS News Minnesota.